Well, hello everybody. Today I thought I'm going to do something different because I don't have an awful lot of time to do a live uh, recording of me painting maps or anything. Um, but I wanted to show you this uh, piece of software that you can see on the screen now uh, called Flowscape and how it can be used to not just create some cartography, which is a really cool thing to do, but also to add some ambient and atmosphere to your games very quickly and very cheaply. I think this software cost me $12, something like that. And although it's, it's far from perfect, it is really far from perfect, it's really basic, but it really can create fantastic results very, very quickly with barely any efforts. So I think it's a very well worth one to keep in mind when you want to illustrate or create any kind of imagery for your role-playing games. Um, this software is based on Unity. Unity is a 3D engine free, completely free, that you can download and learn to use, which is very, very powerful. It's not as powerful as some things like Unreal, but it's very easy to get to grips with and do basic stuff with. So this is based on that and it's very universal and it works very well indeed. Uh, in the latest version, which is 1.5, uh, until recently it was 1.2, uh, you get what resolution you want to run this in or if you want to do windowed or full screen. I'm, I'm going to do full screen. And then what kind of resolution you want to apply to your images, to the, the 3D environment that you're going to be working. Uh, I have a fairly high computer um, laptop, so I'm going to use my high. And then you just get reality. The first thing that happens, um, it can be a little bit slow, just so you know, uh, at starting. And this is happening in real time. So I'm not... Um, accelerating this. I don't want you to think that I am, you know, fast forwarding this because I'm not. I, I want to show this software as it is with its uh, good points and, it bad, and its bad points. And it is slow to start with. It has a few things that I hope they're going to sort out in the future. But right now, Although I feel this is fantastic for $12, but it could be a lot better if I had the right amount of investment thrown onto it. I think this, you know, had a team of know, three or four programmers instead of being just one person doing this. This could be unbelievable, utterly, utterly unbelievable. So, here we go. It started, and the first thing that this server is going to do, uh, when it eventually decides to render everything, there we go. and it's going to populate this with random stuff. Just like that. And when you think it's over, it will allow us to use the rest of the commands in here. So, the one thing I have about this uh, software, and maybe I haven't found how to do it, I don't know. But the one thing I don't like is that when you want to move around with the left, sorry, with the right mouse, it pivots around the camera. This is really annoying because what I would like to pivot is this it's is the whole construction and if you do it with the middle mouse button it just uh, it's not it's not easy you can use the keyboard uh, like w to go up s to go back D and A to go right and A. 
and then there should be ones to go up and down, which are Q to go down and E to go up. So you can move about if you want to, and you can navigate this in real time. So I think, I mean, the fact that we're doing this in real time and it's looking absolutely gorgeous is just, as far as I'm concerned, fantastic. What to do? Let's, let's go in order, okay? Um, this button here at the top will allow you to move, rotate, or resize anything on the screen. So if we select this stone, we can now move it in any of the axes. In real time, I, I, I have to specify every single time this is in real time, because this is utterly wonderful. It will allow us to rotate things and position where we want, and it will allow us to resize whatever we want to do, thus giving some scale, sensation of scale. This is an eraser, and it allows us to well, erase things because that's what it does. And this will allow us to create new terrains. So, for instance, if I come and do this, am I sure? If I and we go back, and we go... There you are, this is what we have. We have now some mountains. And now we have a swamp, and a desert, and a coast. And, 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 we have, seriously, we have loads, and loads, and loads, and loads of things, and to make it even better, we can apply different textures to the ground, we can change the height, so we can have more or less water. We can do some time to change the size of the texture to give us a sense of scale. To rain size, we can make it super duper huge. Super huge. Fresno is something I have not, not tried. So I'm going to take a look and see what it does. Oh, look at that. It changed the illumination. Oh, this is the reflectivity of the water. How reflective of the sky is. That's good. Um, we can do the brightness. We can change the brightness of the texture. There's no height. It's going to come down or higher up. And then there's no angle. So we know where it comes from. We can make the water icy. We can make it lovery. We can make it landy. And we can sculpt things. Which is just so good because we can change our terrain into pretty much anything we want. Um, I don't know if there's a way to. Oh yes, if you press. Um, Control it changes the way that it scopes things. And we press shift, let's try this. Yes, and we press shift, it goes down. So, as you can tell, this is actually pretty powerful. This is really powerful, but let's continue exploring a little bit. This is for your trees. Okay, firstly, let's reset this and let's make it something fairly plain and simple. Oh, let's make this work. Let's come back. And then we come to the trees and we have loads and loads and loads of trees. Now, this is where we go up here in the middle of the screen at the top and we can change the size, the speed at which they grow. 
the variation in size and the variation in angle. So as you you know just walk your mouse all over this place trees will sprout and grow right in front of you and yes you have your shadows and we have many different types of trees that you can use as you see fit to make your very very own forests and changing the sizes you can give a sense of scale to your map and you have some really good shit like this oh look at that that is utterly fantastic really amazingly fantastic everything randomized and looking mega beautiful and yes you can come here and change some sizes make some things be a lot bigger and then place them wherever you want to place them okie dokie this is <laughs> i just absolutely adore this software let's erase this because there's so much more that i have to show you and i will need space so what even better would be quicker if i just remake okay so we have the trees we have bushes all over the place which are hard to see uh, because i haven't chosen any a little bushes that you can put around here and there and you have weird plants that grow in fantasy world that absolutely nobody has ever heard of ferns it's just utterly utterly wonderful Yes, it supports multiple undoes, as you can tell, which is excellent. We have flowers, loads of very different flowers. And you can see how the size, even if I'm using exactly the same size for every single thing that I'm placing on the map, uh, but everything is uh, to scale, which is brilliant, really brilliant. You can make your prairies with loads of grass loads and loads and loads of grass and different ferns and something's beautiful and then we come to the rocks and different rocks different sizes and if you leave the button pressed it will just keep producing where it is uh, so you can create clusters You have many different types of rocks all over the place. And again, don't worry about the size because if at any point you want to change the size because you think that that rock should be bigger, go for it. Be my guest. That is absolutely amazing. Now, this is something interesting to keep in mind as well. Okay, this is something to go a bit further and a bit closer. Why? Because can you see how when you select this little bridge looking stone here, it will appear something on the screen. It's not like the plants that you just have your mouse. This will appear something on the screen. If you rotate with the middle mouse, it will change into the sort of rock that will be placed. This will not sprout it. That's exactly the shame, the shape that you're going to get. It will always be the same. This is a 3D model that's been placed like that. It's not procedurally generated. 
and you have several of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can add some more terrains, like for instance here. And you add some terrains. You can make this, oops, make a huge butt. Bring it down a little bit. And you have a distant mountain. And you can create as many of these as you wish. Now I wonder though if you can place trees on here, like this one. <gasps> yes, you got. Oh, this is so exciting! This is. I didn't know I could do this. Oh my god, I am um, truly and genuinely super excited about this because you can put as many of these as you wish and make the terrain as large as you possibly want to make them. This is. Super exciting. This was not available in previous editions and versions of this software. Oh, people. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I am in love. I am so in love with this. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Anyway, let's place more rocks. Remember, things change in size and shape when you click on your mouse, the middle button. So you can tell that there's an awful lot of things that can be done with this software. See, this is, appears nothing. I've chosen this stone here. It appears nothing, but if you click on the terrain, it will sprout beautifully. So with the stones more stones and it doesn't matter if you click on the right on the middle button however oh, that's so cool that's so good and cool however there are certain things that you have to keep in mind for instance stones these are pebbles okay if you click on pebbles and draw around let's come closer there's one thing i don't like there's no speed control in this Fast and furious. Okay, if I click here, see how stones fall. Yes, it's got its own little gravity engine, and that is absolutely fantastic. How cool is that? <laughs> it's got its own physics. That is so very cool, and the same applies. Two branches, twigs, smaller twigs, and then you get your mushrooms. Let's grow everywhere, and they're absolutely beautiful. And then you get this, which is excellent because this is um, just the pair randomly. Just beautifully so for an autumnal sort of feel to it. And then we have a very good for I hope that this is recording the sound. Yes, you can get sound effects. <laughs> this is so cool. So, so cool. Anyway, this is it. Now we go on to the buildings. So I'm going to um, I'm going to start again the whole thing uh, because I think it's a good idea to start again. Let's go up. Now I'm going to go into the stones, into the uh, buildings, because look at this beauty. I also look at this beauty and this and this and that and that and that and that different tower and that Another one, and another one, and another one. 
it's maybe it's a little small because <laughs> this is huge. There you go, my friends. We have a ton of different little houses that we can use pretty much right away. Now, I know what you're going to say, and uh, this is, well, kind of limited because we have right now, let's count this, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Twelve different buildings. That's a fantastic start. On this one, this one button. But if we delete these, and we come back here, we have the towers. Let's make them smaller. Thank you. We have towers. We have one tower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's a bridge. Cover bridge. This is in one button, okay? One button. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, or eighteen different items. Wow. Wow. Now, if you can't see by now how cool this is, let me keep you showing you more things because we have now. We can get closer. So what do we have? We do have here. We have one stall, two, three, four. Seriously, humans, real time lighting things. Can you? This is a lot more than I was expecting from one upgrade, from one version to the next. Seriously, all of this in real time. You can make your own market in real time. And it doesn't stop there, not at all. Let's get rid of all this. So we have some spice. And we come into one building. Two, three, four, five. I 
I could keep going. I mean, I think you just should get this software and explore it yourself. Because I could keep going and spend here an absolutely insane amount of time. Oh, look at that. We have our castle that we can customize as we see fit. I mean, this is just insanely beautiful, and, and I think you just should um, keep exploring, seriously, because there's so, so many things to figure out and um, to discover and to feel inspired by in this software is for $12 is just absolutely insanely fantastic insanely fantastic the lights all the place and we can keep going because we have some animals look at this we have dragons and we have Columns. I'm going to go closer, don't worry. Let me get closer. Skeletons. Oh, we have an end! Oh my god, we have ends! This is so super cool. Super mega duper cool. And horses that grow organically as do deer and elephants. Wow. This is better than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, and as you can tell now, I haven't looked at this as carefully. Okay. So, um, Let's try a new seed. A new seed, it means that it's going to generate something randomly. Because now what I want to explore is... Hmm, we have some... what? Zebras, okay, whatever. And I have a stalking tiger there, or a leopard, or whatever it is. Right, what I want to explore now is the sky. Da, 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 da. I want to explore this little. I mean, this is utterly unbelievable. And how everything reacts in real time to what you've got in there. But it doesn't end there, because in this area here, you can change the direction of the sun. Although this is going to work better if we can. For instance, to this one, and we change the direction of the sun and the height. So if we have a low, so big shadows, non shadows, not big, and the intensity, and we can change the temperature to make it a little bit, you know, different. You want some shafts that will react to whatever object it is underneath. We can rotate the sky, we can make fog appear and run fog, which will fill up, let's change the direction of the sun so you can see the fog. Look at this fog, how it's coming from the left. You can do so many things and you can add some little bits of music.
This is close cake. Um, I kid you not. This extremely, extremely good value for money. Considering everything it does. This is utterly fantastic. So please do take a look. I will put a link to where you can get the software from. Uh, do take a look and I really hope that you will feel inspired enough to buy the software. Oh, by the way, something else you can do. From here, you can do screenshotting in very high resolution. Oh, you can choose to speed into rotation. Oh, this is fantastic. I didn't know you could do this. I didn't know you could do all these things. I just literally found out. This is very good. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please do remember to subscribe. I'm going to do more reviews of different software that can be used in role playing games to illustrate your games, your maps or whatever. And uh, leave me your comments down there. I very much look forward to talking to you very, very soon indeed. Love you all. Bye.